morning. So we are on the move today. We're heading off to Armadale. So we've stayed at Chaffee Dam the last couple of days, which was our first stop. Lee's in the van putting in her contact lenses. So I'm leaving her alone because she's swearing a lot. Um, but this is where we were parked up and it's just epic. So much space. There's hot showers, there's flushing toilets, there's cows, apparently good fishing. I didn't fish because where we camped just here, I think is all weed. So I really couldn't be bothered walking anywhere to throw a line in, so I just didn't. But yeah, this is Chaffee Dam, so it's about 15 minutes out of Nundal and about 45 k's out of Tamworth. But it is specky. Morning. So we're uh, parked up here in uh, Armdale for a week, staying with uh, Mel and Mark, or more Mark. Oh, that was very close to my face. And um, we're doing a few repairs on the van or things that we didn't get done at home. Morning, honey. Morning. Looking stylish. It's about uh, 16 degrees <laughs> here. It's been a cold, uh, cold well, night, but you know. Chilly night. We're uh, just putting a bit of silicon around the back of our van. Oh, yeah. So down here, near the lights, it's just come apart. So just going to do a little bit of running repairs. So we're putting a bit of sticker flex just in here. What's the weather down there like? Cold. You got to do up here before you push it in. Yeah, I know. And then, oh dear, hello dear, for a minute. Let me push that in. Ugh. So it's not all of it that's come on, um, come apart. It's just loose, so. We thought this is the opportunity to do it. This wasn't working, so we're just going to scrape it down, rewire and silicon it back on. We're going to put this rubber tubing in under here on this piping. Most of the others have been covered in some sort of rubbery cover, but obviously we got to try and protect this. We had a little grey water tank, a uh, 52 litre water tank put in while we were home. Um, that way we don't have to carry our um, portable grey water tank with us, which is a pain in the ass. Be Sorry, Adam. So yeah, so that'll be really good. So we've got 125 litre, 85 litre down the front of water and then a 52 litre grey water tank. So. So we'll get to and cover these. All right. Do you love having a handy wife or a hands-on <laughs> wife? <laughs> I love it when you get handy. <laughs> Doing a good job though, babe. Yeah, no, I've got the camera. <laughs> oh, he's, got the cam he's got the camera. Hang on. Is that is that Mel? <laughs> That's Mel. Hey, <laughs> oh, we're just putting rubber on our piping. So it's Easter Saturday today. We're going to do a few breweries this afternoon. We've got to go to Bunnings on the way in. We're doing a little bit of a tour tomorrow to see what's around. So that's not me. That's the cable tie. It's um, it's just too windy to do anything else today. So we thought we'd use today as our maintenance day and Bunnings day and stuff like that. So maintenance. anyway. We'll keep pushing on, and I reckon next time you see us, I'll be a beer in at the brewery. So, <laughs> finished product. We've got all through here covered. We need one more bit to do this bit. All through here covered, right up to the tank to covered, and out to the end to covered. We're just thinking we probably need a sheet of metal or something here just to stop stains, even though the guard's there, but we'll have to just see. All the other pipes under here are already covered. 
Um, I'm not sure about the wiring over there, somewhere there, but um, yeah. Anyway, all right, on to the next part. Very windy grey tops are really. Let's taste their pale ale. She's good. She's windy, all right. That's a pale ale. Mark has the dark ale. And I We've have the, the classic Coke. <laughs> the classic. So this is on Old Inverell Road in Armadale. So it's probably only about like that, five, ten minutes out of town. Um, <laughs> It's windy, it's definitely windy. Definitely it's, windy. It's definitely. Saturday and it is bloody packed. It's our first stop in our little brewery tour of Armadale. We can even have a couple of beers here and um, go in and have a well to stop. Two beers in. We got fries. I got tacos. Mark's already finished his. Done. But I that one. That one's a... epic, epic tacos. We've got the pulled brisket ones. We're coming to Armadale. Definitely the uh, Great Hops Brewery with their pulled brisket tacos. Very good. IPA. <laughs> Nearly done. I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're at the Welder's Dog. Ginger beer time now, but it's good. Stout. Coke with a spoon. Uh, stout for Mark. Stout. Stout, which is called the Darkness. Darkness Stout. Darkness Stout. And then Lee's having her Darkness Cola. With a spoon. With a spoon. But once again, two breweries we've been to in Armadale. Chin Chin, very good. Very, very good. You gotta do the great selection behind the bar for them. Oh yeah. a cold night it's uh at the moment in the van sitting on eight degrees mm, you can sort of see that eight degrees she got down to two overnight hence the croaky voice so you have to excuse that and uh the boys are already outside sitting by the fire or the uh last little bit of the fire with a cuppa ready to start the day but uh the wind's dropped today which is beautiful and the sun is out only supposed to reach a top of 13 here today in armadale so whew, she's going to be a cold one boys did you send each other a text about your shirts <laughs> boys we, come on you just think alike that way we're mountain men oh. mountain women. show me your outfit today adam stand up looking very uh oh yeah <laughs> 
Those legs go all the way up. <laughs> Countryside stretches for miles and miles. <laughs> Not much left of the stump. With binoculars. <laughs> the stump is burning down, smouldering away. One thing we haven't watched in the van is Russell Coit. And we won't be. On that. He's a legend. The man. Beautiful the sunshine. The mystery. <laughs>45 minutes out of Armadale. Yeah. On the way to Dorigo. So we're not going to Dorigo, but anyway, it's on the way to Dorigo. I want to see a wallaby. Ooh. You ought to look over the edge, Ed. I jumped off a bridge. <laughs> Those who don't know, Adam used to be afraid of heights. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 
that is specky. That's sick. It's probably got a little bit more water rolling over it at the moment because we've um, had a bit of rain recently. That amazing coming down here and then the big one down here. I did read that they're the second highest waterfall, or it's the second highest waterfall in New South Wales. There's another one over near Foster somewhere, which is the highest. But I think it's, I think I read it's got a drop of 200 meters. In insane! Hurry up! I had a stone in my shoe. I'll go see more water falling off cliffs. <laughs> it's the dog tent. Mm. Original fence is built around the turn of the century and stretched for over a thousand kilometres on the New England Tablelands, part of a fence extending from Queensland to the Hunter Valley. Look at this massive big termites nest. Huh. About as tall as me. Taller. Huh. Ah. That that's hard. Very funny. So all the way over there is where we originally started at the lookout. And you just follow the top of the ridge all the way around. So we'll end up somewhere over here. On the top. That's Becky hands. Why are you holding on? It's a long way down. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. What was it? Tell us, Ad. Stay to the track. Don't be a dickhead and go down that way. Right. Because this is um the main the, like the top of the gorge so this is still in the early stages of erosion compared to the rest of the gorge so the, you'll see flood debris and everything which you can see down there mm. um at the top but it's very unpredictable so stay on the track no, stay on the track there's no safe way down to see the falls if you go up the track. right i think it's just a shame that yeah that people have to put signs out now telling people like, yeah do not, not cross the be... bridge you fund of water Ugh. Like, don't be a dick. I could only have imagined though, Ad, and you can see just here on the um, wall, on the bridge, that during all the rain that they had recently, that this was underwater, look. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. You know you're coming up to a lookout when there's um, rail Sailing across it or along it. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Don't drop your phone. Ooh, that breeze is fresh. What do you want to try? I want to see if I can land a rock over in that rock pool on the other side. <laughs> Children will always be children. Hang oh. on. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I need to do the side sling. I don't think I'm going to have the distance, to be honest. Well, no one ever said you had good distance. Oh, he hits this tree. <laughs> the one branch is <laughs> Go back a bit. Ooh. Oh, nah. No, no nah, love distance, honey. All right, on to the last of the lookouts. This one's only 500 meters along the track. All right, skip, show me how you skip. 
<laughs> uh, Ad's a big fan of bushwalking, aren't you, hun? Oh, no, I like it. <laughs> I like the end. I like the end of the bushwalk when you get to see what you're walking to. Well, this is a good one. You get to sit along the way. I know. I'm, am I complaining? No. 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 You're not. It's when you do bushwalks that just go in a loop and you just walk through the bush and then back to your car. It's like, it's the freaking point of just walking through the bush. It's part of the fun. <laughs> Again, the last one of the four lookouts. See over here where part of the um, the cliff face has given way. The weather's changed slightly. Oh yeah, it's nice and cool, but a little bit windier, a little bit cooler. And then down to the gorge. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. So what is it to here? 2.2, uh, 2, 2, something like that. Anyway, we'll have a look when we go back. But um, yeah, beautiful little walk. Wouldn't like to do it on a hot day because there's not a lot of shade. Oh, soaring up in the sky up there. Floating around in the winds. Wow. And what did you say you wanted to see today, honey? Um, Wallaby, you're now starting to rain. Hey, little dude. I don't want to scare him. <laughs> and this is why you do these things. So as well as the bush walk down to the falls, um, you can also camp out here in the National Park. Um, we assume that it's, well, assume you make an ass out of you and me. Yeah. <laughs> you have to book. Yeah. Yeah, you got to book to camp here. Just oh. to normal, it's because it's National Park, you just go onto the National Park website. <laughs> Do the um, whole booking thingy. And while we were here, there were actually two um, national park officers. I don't oh. know what you call them. Set sites, that, you got fire pits. Yeah. So. It's you can't nice. collect firewood though. Nice flat level sites. Flat trees, nice and big. Yeah. All gravel pit, obviously. There is a, I've just seen over here, there is a big, um, like a skip bin full of firewood for you. And by the look of it, there's pit toilet. Just out there for you to take. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is just another little fall. What's this one called, Ad? Baker's Creek. Baker's Creek. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is pretty. Oh, that's so good. Wow. How awesome would it be to be able to swim down in there? Yeah, it would be nice. Not now, because it's Winter. freaking cold, but middle of summer, that'd be epic. And driving in, 
not that I think you can hear us, but driving in here, you actually, like it's a dirt road, but it's only 1K, but you didn't really think there'd be much. You don't expect to see no, that. No. No way. Yeah. That is beautiful. So this is still all part of the same gorge? I think so, yeah. From this what is, I this can is, see, no, this Dorigo. Is, I think that's Met Gorge. And Wallamombi Gorge is on the other side of that. So this is a different gorge. They're both gorgeous though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just saying to Lee that this here, when I was growing up, that reminds me so much of the old rock wall that used to be around Echo Point. And all around Katoomba, all the lookouts have that. Yeah. It's another thing, like if you see a sign and go, oh, that might be good to look at. Do it. Do it and go and have a look at it because, yeah, sometimes it might be shit. <laughs> but other times it might be freaking epic like that. Got the time. Got the time, do it.